Yeah? Ready to go car camping? <laughs> oh, that's why you couldn't jump back here. Come here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you ready? Yeah, we gonna show them how we sleep in here? <laughs> What's up y'all, my name is Eric and today we gonna be taking a tour of my 2014 Mitsubishi Lancer and how we convert this into a car camper, so stay tuned. Pretty simple and straightforward, it's literally just a half inch uh, plywood. Just one solid piece all the way to the back. And uh, the back is basically supported by the metal frame of the car. And the front is just supported by these two simple legs I put on here and just screw them up on the top. Show y'all a big quick view from the back here. Literally just one solid piece of plywood. And believe it or not, it is actually almost the same size as a twin size bed. Just to show y'all real quick some of the things I got. This right here is a inflatable uh, couch thing, if you will. I, I want to show you that in a second real quick, how that looks. And just like that, there we go. And then here I got uh, basically a camping like, uh, portable pot, pan, cups, everything I need to cook basically. I got some propane tank down here, a couple lanterns. Also got in here another uh, fan in case it gets kind of hot, you can kind of clip it to the bottom to wherever you need to. Some more propane down there, a couple extra shoes and stuff like that. And that basically all gets stuff just right in there. I'll also have another uh, hammock in case I want to go hammocking eventually. Got that nice tucked in away. I also have my uh, sleeping bag, another blanket. This is my backpack for all my electronics. Hey, I also have my suitcase where I keep all my clothes. Basically got my camping stove here, clothes, pillow and on my uh, cooking utensils which is literally just cheese grater fork spoons one pot all I really need one spatula type of thing and a thing for like soup and stuff and for those of you wondering where or how I keep my food cold BAM this is the Dometic uh, fridge CFX 40 sits right here on my passenger side it's the only place it really fits honestly because down there wouldn't really fit however i keep this uh blanket over it so in case you know anybody walking doesn't get any bright ideas and also just uh, helps it make it look a little bit nicer and right next to the fridge i got the agm deep cycle battery which is also covered up with the blanket it's uh connected with the fridge and it's also connected to the alternator of the car so whenever I'm driving the battery stays charged right next to the battery I got the water jug which I make sure it stays closed at all times so it doesn't affect the battery at all and I'm kind of always making sure that that stays closed and yeah I just keep the towel over it make sure nothing no one can really see what it is and that's basically it and that's how it is during the day really and now, if y'all guys want, I'll show y'all what it looks like when I'm transforming this into sleep mode. So, first thing that I really do now is I'm going to move that and reach down under here. Four. And I also got these things that are basically like a little screen mosquito protector thing that goes over the window so whenever if it's hot you can just lower the windows down and you can get some nice breeze going and no mosquitoes or like that would get in it's pretty nifty and basically this thing literally just wraps around all perfect and you can still lower your window and my windows are already pretty tinted but if you just fix that a little bit in case you're wondering and I mean you can kind of see a little bit but not really to be honest with you 
And the next thing we're gonna do is gonna get this little piece of reflectix and put it up against these windows. All right, now let me show y'all. So, extremely simple. Literally, all I have is a pillow, sleeping bag, and this is basically like an inflatable uh, sleeper pad. Yeah, that's what I want. And basically, it's really convenient, extremely light, and it fits perfectly all the way back there to the front. Now all we gotta do is just jump right on in. <laughs> hey, you ready to drive? <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> Silly girl. Getting hair everywhere. More than enough space for me. And yeah, just like that, we in the car. <laughs> and I'm chilling now. You can see I got plenty of elbow space on this side, on this side, plenty. If I wanted to and get more space, I really wanted to get more space, I would just have to move this uh, chair forward a little bit and that'll give me a little bit more head space. But honestly, for me personally, that's pretty good enough. I put the cook stove right up top there so it's not in the way for my feet. One thing that I do need to do is make another thing of reflectix for these windows, maybe for the back window, just so I can get a little bit more sense of privacy back here. Definitely does the job up front. Pretty protected from the front and this side. you for watching once again my name is eric and believe it or not this is my very first youtube video i've ever done so if you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure y'all tap in for the next one peace out